for all of us that are not scientists to see the maps to kind of get a quick and, and idea of how things are changing, but how important are they in your work? The scientists are no different from anybody else. I mean, we all see the world as maps, right? You know, ever, ever since we started at school as kids, there's a map. Um, and I think that's the way people are trained to visualize uh, how things look and how they change and the rate of change. So a lot of the tools we've developed are just smart maps. They're just different ways of looking at information on the surface of the Earth or in the atmosphere that changes through time. We use all kind of really nice tools just to make cleverer, uh, more understandable maps. But they're still maps. And you use them to communicate those results as well. Yes, very powerful. I don't know if you remember the ozone hole uh, story. There was a few, you know, back in the 90s and the early noughties, mm -hmm. uh, the business of how the ozone hole was getting bigger and bigger every, every spring down there in Antarctica. Um, you could talk yourself blue in the face about how this was happening. But the thing that the public and politicians immediately understand is, is this time series of maps showing how the, the hole got bigger and bigger over time. You know, a kid could understand it. Mm -hmm. So they're very, very powerful tools for communication, I think. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, so one of the, in addition to using maps to communicate, we're also this week introducing students to a lot of NASA tools that allow them to download data and manipulate it and use it to develop their own maps. Now mm -hmm. that seems a little scary for some, but why do you think they should take this challenge? Oh, this is the way to basically make the best use of the rest of your life uh, to, <laughs> to try and develop the tools and software to take all these you know, gazillion points of data and map it out in a clear way. That's taken uh, some very smart people many, many years of effort to, to, to make something that's quite difficult and time-consuming mm -hmm. simple and straightforward. So I would advise anybody who's getting into the business, uh, you know, get friendly with the tools. They yeah. will save you years of your life and, uh, and, and give you a reliable result. In addition to being a lot of fun. Yes, and you get there quicker. That's the main thing is, you know, we all want to get the result quicker, right? Yeah. And see how well we're doing. So, yeah, I would, I would strongly encourage young people who are getting into business, you know, sit down with some of the old hands, learn, learn how it's done, 